Greetings, Argina Abundance here with a video about tips for eBay resellers. So I am a new eBay reseller. Um, I have had experience on eBay before I started actually reselling as far as I have a beauty supply store. So that's really the main things I sell. I never expected to be a reseller because I was selling like new products for from my biz, um, beauty supply store. And that is still what I want to do consistently because the thing I like about that is, you know, you sell products over and over and that listing gets, you know, up there and then you can keep reselling the same products, reordering the same products to resell. So I kind of really like the idea of that, but reselling is fun as well. It's more of a, I don't want to be honest, it is a hobby for me and I got into it from my little brother. Um, retro reseller if you want to i'll link his uh ebay store below as well as mine but i sell um you gotta okay so when i first first of all let's just start here okay so i resell items from the goodwill bins and the goodwill bins is a goodwill store that has all these bins i do have a vlog i will link it below when i went to the bins for the first time and i made so many mistakes so there's just a lot to really talk about for real. Okay, let's just get started. Um, so yeah, the bins is where you go and you, you know, there's a whole bunch of bins, a whole bunch of people was open to the public and you just go in there and make sure, here's some tips, make sure to take some gloves with you because um, you're digging through stuff and ugh, it just, you know, it's not the cleanest place. It's really not because this is stuff people just donate and um, some of it is gold because we'll talk about that too. But so make sure you have gloves. Uh, also take a bag with you, like a, a reusable bag, something sturdy. If you do forget one, there's a, that's okay because I find a lot of my bags and my little brother, uh, well, the first time I went, my little brother had me prepared. Like he had his gloves, reusable glove, I mean, um, disposable gloves. Didn't we, I was like, man, I'm about to start using reusable gloves because it's just easier to, do, you know, you know, the plastic gloves will, uh, especially if you have nails, they'll just break or whatever. But, um, yeah, so reusable gloves, uh, it don't matter really what kind you know, they can get a little nasty or whatever, digging through the stuff. And then um, make sure to take a bag. Or you might find a bag in the bins. That's what I was trying to get to. You may find a bag at the bins that you can use uh, to take with you. Um, uh, do I feel like pulling it out? No, I'm not going to pull it out right now. But yeah, well, uh, just take a bag that, you know, you can take with you. Like a little bag you would use to you know, grocery shopping or whatever, something sturdy. Another tip is, uh, make, so this is what happens at the bins. Sorry, I know I keep going off. Uh, at the bins, you, um, you buy items by weight. I love that. So the, the lower the weight, the better. So I have this story. The first time I went to the bins and then I was like, I did, did do a video and I, I don't know if it was the same. Oh yeah, I think I did edit it and say what I got, but it was the worst mistake. My brother didn't really stop me, but it's nice to learn from your mistakes. So I bought this really heavy generator. It was type like a thing that converts uh, electricity. Like say if you live in another country or whatever, I don't know, some kind of electricity converter. It was huge. The, way, the more it weighs, the more you're going to pay. So that was a mistake. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing, um, but I seen that on Amazon, you know, it was selling for so much. Eventually, I did sell it. Uh, took maybe four months. It was really annoying. I just wanted it out of here. And then my customer tried to return it or something, but I ended up getting my money back or something because I'm not... That was a lot. Like, I would not do that again. Do not buy anything very heavy, okay? You'll learn that... Uh, even if it does, even if it is worth a lot, but no, I mean, if you know, okay, because there are times like my brother has sold like big things like new printers or something like that. Now, if it's, you know, something worth it, I feel like I didn't know enough about that item to sell it. Um, another thing is in the eBay app, there's a little button you can push and it's a button at the top of the search bar and you push that and it will tell you, uh, you know, you scan a barcode and it will show, um, 
basically if that product sold before now if it's something else or there's so many niches as far as if it's vintage it's not going to be on there some things aren't on there at all so you got to kind of find your niche that's what i'm getting at find your niche find out what you truly um want to do so uh and that takes a while because i was like i don't want to take his idea and sell shoes because he sells shoes so i was like okay guess what i end up selling though handbags uh, i do a lot of handbags that's like my general thing and it has i mean i've learned a lot more about handbags than i have before once you learn your niche and you know what you're looking for you know like oh this ain't going to sell this is you can do your research or whatever but honestly i learned by trial and error and what I mean is I just bought all kind of purses and then when I went to go list them I start you know doing research because you got to see if they're when you're listing them you got to think if they're vegan leather leather if they're regular leather if it's a high-end purse and um the good thing about eBay though and if you're doing reselling is the products are already up there so for the most part most products you're going to be reselling depending on your niche they're already up there and just people have sold them so you can kind of see what they went for like how much they sold for and things like that um and it's good because you're getting a, a low price sometimes you'll find new items and when i first went there my strategy was um after that first mistake i made by buying that thing that big large thing i found that lightweight items work so i'm like okay i'm just going to do a whole bunch of random items which i still I'm selling to today like um, there's still stuff listed on my eBay that I haven't sold till today and um, you know lightweight I was thinking lightweight and new because I was like man I'm not trying to deal with nothing really used or whatever so lightweight and new was my thing for like five trips to the bin so I have a whole bunch of random stuff that is eventually selling but you know and I um, went with that and then you know it was okay but listing a whole bunch of random stuff I didn't like being in everything store. Listen to a whole bunch of stuff is really annoying because you got to learn. It takes too long to list because you have to learn about that item and it just scatters your brain. Like, okay, I got to list this. You got to list the mug. Then you got to list the teddy bear. Then you got to list this, list that. Like, it's just a lot. So I suggest you do get a niche. So that would be another tip. These are just, I'm just going off right now. Just whatever is the top of my head. Um, so eventually, you know, I, you know, I was like, okay, this little eBay thing. I mean, at first I was like, man, I ain't even worried about it. I don't even care about eBay till I start making sales. And then I did that. What at what I sold this month or whatever, you know, cause I've been watching those YouTube videos, what I sold in a month or whatever. Um, you know, if y'all want to see more of those, let me know in the comments what I sold this month type of thing. Um, those videos are really watched it and it's pretty cool to see what people sold you buy something for like if you're going by weight my average weight for my handbags is about i need to do a handbag specific video but yeah well they were i remember it being about one about two dollars a a handbag maybe 250 after i you know weigh them because they can be pretty heavy um so it's like 250 per handbag and then you're flipping them for you know you know it's, um the most I sold one for is, hmm, you gotta think, these aren't luxury handbags. These are like hmm, middle of the market because, or low, even lower end, or sometimes I've sold, believe it or not, handbags without a brand. Um, these aren't like no crazy uh, luxury handbags or anything. This is stuff your people don't usually throw away, luxury handbags, so probably resell them. Like, you gotta think about that as well. So, yeah, um, I think the most I sold one for was maybe 65 ish and it's like brands that you never think one of them was I think it was Pendleton or something it was like a I was like dang I didn't know that that brand was worth so much was it Pendleton I can't remember uh that's why I need to do what I sold in a day because that's not eBay is not my main business it's just something I do really as a hobby like I said I'm more focused on trying to sell my beauty supplies on there um, I haven't even been to the bins in a while and then I sell like uh, uh just random stuff um sold a few shoes I got some shoes from someone uh, that no longer wanted them and you know you got to stop taking in stuff though because it gets too much and I you know there's stuff you got to list that's the way to get it though we'll talk about 
listing consistency. Um, you have to list consistently in order to get sales, obviously. The more you list, the more opportunity you have for people to see your things and buy them. Um, this is just everywhere. Anyway, offers. Um, offers, I would recommend having offers on. Um, people will be sending you ridiculous offers, but it's something I'm flattered, but no, sorry, I can't go lower than this number. That's what I always say, and I usually send a message with it. Like, this video is very general, but yeah. Um, and I also, I would recommend you trying to become a top rated seller. And to do that, you have to offer uh, shipping between one to two business days and free returns. And you got to have a consistent uh, rating, like shipping on time. I need to know the requirements. So I don't know. One day I was just like, oh my goodness, I became a top rated seller. I wasn't even trying. It's just crazy because I don't play. The one thing I don't play about is my customer service. And I learned that um, from Etsy because I was on Etsy first. And I'm like, put the stuff from Etsy on eBay and um, or whatever. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I did become a top-rated seller. And, um, you know, I'm still getting up there. But uh, become a top-rated seller. Free returns. Um, make sure you do that because I also heard cause from my brother because he's like, this is his main thing. This is what he does. He, um, he said... If you do free returns, if they leave a, um, it gives you kind of a cushion because if they leave a bad review or something, it won't be, um, it will get erased if they return an item or something or something like that. Um, I need to probably do more research before I do another video like this, but this is just some tips I have. Just a random a uh, lady top rated seller who uh wanted to tell you some tips today but um let me know what questions you have i guess and then i can go from there um yeah so offers i do accept offers as long as it's not disrespectful and another thing that i learned from my brother is like would you rather have the item or the money and i'll be trying to get rid of this stuff so i'm like man as long as i make it i don't care how much it is for real as long as i'm making um you know, some profit, some of the things I just be like, man, I don't know if I'm going to get another offer for this or whatever, so I can get that stuff out of here. Like, you don't want to have a whole bunch of inventory in your house. Like, get it out. Like, sell it. Like, <laughs> um, some things are disrespectful to offers, but then um, you can have a minimum, though. You can set a minimum so they can't even, if you want to get triggered by that, I would say just set a minimum to where, like, you can't even go past this number. It's automatically declined. But I just let them all flow in and, you know, keeps you active on the site and everything. So that's good. But, yeah, that's um, some tips I have for you. Just let me know more so what questions you have. I can do videos on every single topic I just touched on. But that's just, you know, advice from a small eBay seller who, um, yeah, I am definitely need to be more consistent in my listing or whatever. Trying to get this stuff out of here and... Yeah, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to make a trip to your bins. And the, the good thing is the bins aren't very far from where I'm at, so, you know, you know already know where I'm at. The Berg. Wait, hold on. Stillers. It's hard because it's like mirror, so. All right, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk more about eBay. I really do like eBay. I'm also on, like I said, Etsy Macari. I do more so like the um, reselling is fun and I will stick to handbags and I go to the bins. But I really like uh, selling things like from my beauty supply store because, yeah, it's easy. You can resell it multiple times. You can reorder inventory and just keep selling it over and over instead of having to list a whole bunch of random things. So, yeah, that just seems like a, that business model is, it's, it's a business model, but... It's just a little tedious, but if you're listing the same in the same category, it's not as bad, like I said. So my top tips would be to list in the same category, like find your niche, what you're going there for. And then when you're at the binge, you have hindsight. So you're like, I'm looking for this, even though, you know, we tend to get distracted. So have hindsight. I'm looking for this. Like I'm going in there. I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for handbags. Or whatever. Um, that will make it easier and try to keep your weight low so whatever you sell try to sell something lightweight um i do recommend charging 
for shipping. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, on my beauty supply store stuff, I do offer free shipping. If you're doing a new item, I do, you can do free shipping. It depends on what it is. If it's not for my beauty supply store, I offer free shipping. But if it's something uh, from eBay, like a handbag or something, I always say charge for shipping because, because if they return it, um, you know, you can, uh, you don't have to eat the cost of shipping that item out and that's just messed up. You got a free, and you have free returns if you want to be top rate or seller. So think about it. If you offer, um, if you offer shipping, if you offer, uh, no, if you, if they have to pay for shipping and then they have free returns, it's like you just ate the cost of shipping that item out. I don't think so. So. Yeah, make sure you get on that too. Make sure to charge for shipping and make sure to kind of get the gist. And when you uh, when you start shipping stuff out, you'll start to get a gist for like, um, yeah, when you start shipping stuff out, sorry, <laughs> brain, brain fog or whatever. When you start shipping st stuff out, you get a, a gist for how much something weighs. You'll be like, oh, I can guesstimate about, you know, $10 shipping, five or whatever, you know. So you, you'll get comfortable with it. it. It's a learning curve and it's totally worth it. Um, it's something to do, you know, part time. You don't have to do this full time. Just something to bring a little bit more income in. And it's something like you could just start with selling stuff around your house, which I did. I started with selling stuff around my house. Same with Amazon. When I first went on there, believe it or not, I was selling stuff um, that I had around my house. So um, just use what you have sometimes, like books or whatever. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next video. I know I already said that, but it's true this time. All right. Talk to you soon.